Hello, this is Inelia Benz and I'd like to welcome you to the Ascension 101 course. In this course we will be aiming to achieve two basic things. One is a full understanding and experiencing of the state of oneness. The second is a full understanding and experiencing of your personal spiritual ascension in this lifetime. Let's look at each of these things at a time. Oneness is experiencing life as one being, one universe, as the divine, all time, all things, all, yet keeping our awareness as ourselves, the person who we are as an individual living on earth right now. The oneness experience is often described as a state of ecstasy, all-knowing, all-being, nirvana, being and experiencing love beyond love. Yet we do not lose our personal identity, but can experience the entire universe and our person at the same time. Ascension, on the other hand, is the moving of our core vibrational signature from one level to a higher, more refined, more aware level. It is the goal of this course that you reach the level you are most happy with and one that you want to stay at for the conceivable future. Spiritual ascension is not something new. Ascension workers have been born on earth since humanity began. We can all think of one or two very famous ascension workers. However, as far as recorded history is concerned, there have never been so many ascension workers on earth at the same time as they are here today. If you do an internet search on the word spiritual ascension, you will get over a million and a half websites of people who are actively working to help others in their journey. The birth of so many ascension workers at any one time only happens at times of transition from one vibrational pocket to another in the time-space frame of Earth and its journey through our galaxy. Of course, throughout the history of Earth there have been many such times. What this means is that, unlike other times in recorded history, for a person to ascend to a new vibrational signature has never been easier. Only a hundred years ago, a person was required to spend a lifetime of total dedication to their spiritual advancement in order to move from one vibrational level to another. The person had to give up daily life, family, work and their native environment in most cases and move to a monastery or convent for the rest of their lives. Nowadays it only takes the decision to ascend, the right tools, the commitment to do the work every day and a clear goal of the level one wants to achieve in order to do it. If we choose to, yes, we could move to a monastery or convent, but this would not necessarily mean the ascension would be faster or more effective than if we stay at home and continue with our normal lives. To summarize, oneness is the state we want to experience and bring forth into our daily existence, and ascension is the movement of our core self from one vibrational signature to a higher, more refined one. So for example, if a person is in a state of depression, they can move to contentment. If he or she is in a state of contentment, he or she can move to a state of happiness. From happiness to fulfillment, from fulfillment to enlightenment, and from enlightenment to oneness. Of course, there are more levels in between all these. These are just the example for the core signatures we could be living from. In case you're wondering, the difference between enlightenment and oneness is that enlightenment is being in the light, and oneness is being the light. They're not the same state. Also, oneness is not the last or ultimate as in this state. But it is the highest I can help you with because it's the highest one I have achieved here on Earth. So what can you look forward to in this course? Well, with the movement in vibration from one level to another comes an expansion of awareness, a growth in our ability to manifest. Our psychic and intuitive abilities become more attuned and also our capacity to tap into the divine wisdom and guidance, which makes our lives so much more enjoyable, is increased. Around us, our lifestyle improves, our relationships heal, and our environment blossoms. This does not mean you will no longer have problems, pain or suffer the results of others' actions. 
we do not live in isolation. However, it does mean that you will be able to deal with and respond to these situations in a more positive and constructive way. Some individuals who have undertaken this journey have found out that their entire lives are turned inside out before it gets better. This is because our lives and all the people, environments, situations and objects are in harmony with where we are today. Once we move out of that space and into a higher vibration, anything that cannot move with us will be out of tune, as it were, no longer resonating with us, will become incompatible and will eventually need to be removed from our lives. This could result in ending up relationships, whether close or casual, work environments changing, moving house, careers, interests and goals, or not. It very much depends on what is best for our individual lives and what is so tuned to us that when we move our vibrational signature to a higher level, it also moves and stays in tune with us. Often we live lives that are out of tune with our inner self, our true selves, in order to appease others perhaps, or to fit into a box which we have constructed with the given patterns in our lives, and where we feel bored, alone, unhappy, disconnected, or disempowered. My aim in creating this course is that you will find your own voice, become true to yourself, and become one with the universe. All I care about is that you become fully integrated and successful as a person and experience a state of oneness in your daily life. What does this mean? In short, that you no longer live a life dictated by others or by negative personal programming, but one of full empowerment where you will be able to reclaim your voice and your true self, be fully incarnated into your existence, and thus do and be whatever it is that you decide to do or be in this lifetime. When I say fully incarnated, this means to integrate and have full use of all of your bodies and tools with which you were came to earth equipped with. The bodies I am talking about are the physical body, the ego body, emotional body, mental body, and spiritual body. The tools are your gifts, skills, interests and passions. Don't worry if you draw a blank on these because with this work you will find them. The core structure is the following. First we will be looking at setting of goals. Here you must be very clear on what you want to achieve in this course. The beauty of this unit is that you can do the course time after time every time you move your goalpost. Secondly, we will detoxify, reconnect and make fit all our bodies. Again, by bodies I mean the physical, ego, emotional, mental and spiritual bodies. After that, we will align our bodies by the use of the heart-centered meditation and other tools. Lastly, we will go into a deeper understanding of oneness and the course will conclude with the meditation and expansion of awareness into oneness. After the course there is also an extra emergency unit and it is for dealing with sickness during ascension work. This unit is meant to be used only in the case of physical illness while you are doing the course. It is advisable that you follow the course material in the order it has been presented so you can experience its maximum benefit. And do each unit at your own pace taking as much time, or as little time, on each unit as you see fit. It is my hope that by the end of this course, you will feel it was the best money you have ever spent on any course or item in your entire life.